So, to further explain the closed loop control system, take the example of a speed control of DC motor. So, if you want to control the speed of DC motor, the following closed loop system will be used. The keypad is used as an input transistor as from the keypad you will be giving the command, uh, the, the required speed or desired speed uh, that you want for the motor. Then this controller section comes in controller. Uh, I have mentioned the microcontroller means I, I'm, I'm using, supposingly that I'm using a digital circuit at a microcontroller and I'm doing some programming on it. It will give you the commanded signal U which in this case will be the pulse width modulation. And now next is the plant that is DC motor. This is the output. This is your speed of the motor. And now this speed, actual speed is given back to the input uh, for the comparison for the difference purpose through, through the output uh, uh, transistor and in this case it is optical encoder. So suppose when you suppose suppose you want the speed to be 200 rpm. So this 200 RPM, this command will be con converted into compatible form to the microcontroller. Microcontroller reads that you want 200 RPM. It will give the control signal in terms of PWM, means pulse width modulation. And currently the output means the actual speed at this point is current Y is 0 RPM. So the error is now 200 minus 0 means 200 RPM. So on this base of error, the microcontroller will generate the duty cycle of the PWM and it will give maximum duty cycle means PWM means uh, like this maximum duty cycle. Suppose like this. This is your T on and this is your T off. So duty cycle means that the time that the pulse has been on divided by its total time period means duty cycle is equal to T on divided by T on plus T off. So initially the controller will increase the duty cycle and the speed start increasing and suppose the response is like this. That you want like this suppose you want this is the level. 200 RPM. This is your um, time, and this is your y axis is your speed. Speed. So Initially, error is 200. Microcontroller generates a PWM, and it has it generates increased duty. It will increase the duty cycle, and the motor start moving, and speed start increasing. And your response is like like this pause. It's excellent response. And you are going on this way. It means your transient response is excellent. Your steady state response is excellent. There's no steady state error. But suddenly, you put load at a particular point on the DC motor means supposing the I see this the this is the position of load on means load has been put it on the DC motor so now when you put the load suddenly the speed of DC motor will start decreasing 
and it will decrease and then after that of course there is a disturbance in terms of load the error is now again comes and the microcontroller will read this error because there is an error and the speed is less than the desired value then again microcontroller will start increasing the duty cycle more and your output again reaches the 200 rpm so now your motor has been again regulated at a 200 rpm so now at this point of stage suppose at this point of stage you put the load of means now load at this point is not present now what happens now look when when you when you load, when turn off the load now because the duty cycle has been set according to the load now the speed will again start increased and it will overshoot from the 200 rpm and then controller start decreasing the duty cycle and you will get again and your speed again uh, decreases and it reaches towards 200 rpm and then it settles there so if i can draw the pwm waveforms on these cases that when you put the load at this particular time and the speed starts decreasing uh, the controller will take action and it will increase the duty cycle so at this particular place maybe you have increased the duty cycle to 100 percent like this but at that point when you turn the load off or you put the load off the speed st starts increasing and it overshoots from the 200 rpm and at that particular place the microcontroller automatically feel that the speed is now over than the desired uh, speed it will start decreasing the pwm and i can draw it like this that now it will increase decreasing the duty cycle now there is some on time and some off time means the duty cycle has been decreased now in the previous case it was in the previous case it was 100% now you can see from this figure that the duty cycle is now uh, decreased from the above case and uh, the controller will take action accordingly as you can see that when the load is turned on uh, the speed is decreased and the controller will automatically increase the duty cycle of the PWM and suddenly when you put off the load uh, the speed start jumps or st st speed overshoots the desired value then the controller will reduces the duty cycle so i hope you uh, you will be clear about the con closed loop controls and uh, but before uh, uh, i go i again uh, request you people to like and subscribe my channel that is talim sabke liye